It's been a while since I've talked about BSPWM, and today what we're going to be covering is BSPC query. So I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of the BSPC node, monitor, and desktop selectors. If you don't, you're not really going to be able to follow along with this. I will be explaining the ones that are important as we go, but having some prior knowledge of that will make it a bit easier. I've done videos on those individually, so feel free to check those out. So with BSPC query, the one thing you do have to keep in mind is that sometimes it's not going to behave the way that you expect it to behave, and that's because BSPWM manages everything with a node tree. So if you don't keep in mind the node tree, it's going to be a bit weird to understand. I know I've said in the past that the node tree doesn't really matter, but once you start getting at stuff like this, it kind of does start to matter again. So let's just jump over my main desktop and I guess have a look at the options and then we can jump into some examples. So if we have a look at the man page of BSPC and go all the way down to query. Now it's pretty easy how this works. I'll just open up a second terminal so we can do some examples over here. Now the general format of it is BSPC query. So BSPC query then the type of query you want to do, whether it is a node query, a desktop query, or a monitor query, or also a tree query, you're generally not going to do the tree query because that outputs in JSON. If you do need a JSON representation though, that's how you're going to do that. So generally I work with node queries, but there might be times where you need to do desktop or monitor. If we do dash capital N, that'll say list out the IDs that match the query that we're doing basically. If we do dash capital D, that'll say list out the desktops that match the query. Dash capital M will list out the monitors. And dash T will work, I believe, with anything. So there's two ways that you can actually define the query. So if you want to do a node selection with just a node selector, all you have to do is do dash capital N and then do any of the node selectors we've seen before. So say like focused or if you want to do like uh, biggest, things like that. But if you want to do more than just a node select, you have to start using these options down here. So basically what these options do is say, here is a selector for a monitor, a desktop, or a node. So if we want to do, say, something like this. So we want to select a node that is, uh, we want to select any node that is on, say, desktop uh, 2, for example. So I don't have any nodes on desktop 2, so that's going to fail. But if we put a node over here, it doesn't really matter what the actual node is. And we try to run this again. Now it'll actually return the ID for that node. So you could do tons of different things with this ID. You could pass it into like one of the node commands, for example. So you could go BSPC node and then the ID for that node. So X0340000 and then five. And then you could go dash K and then that will just kill that node. And as we can see, go to the second desktop. The node isn't actually there anymore. So this is kind of why you actually use the query syntax because there's some stuff that's a bit too complicated to do within a basic query like this. Sometimes you need to do some extra filtering that isn't possible like this. And generally when it becomes a bit too complicated to work within just this basic format here, it's much easier to just do with BSPC query and then loop over them. One nice thing about working with the query syntax is there isn't actually a limitation to which selectors you can actually use any of the selectors will actually work within this syntax. So one example of this is working with the path selector, for example. So you can go BSPC query and then go dash N and then lowercase N and then at parent. So that will actually get the parent of this current window here. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you are working with this, I know it says you can just use a node selector in here, but I've noticed that if you neglect to actually add the dash lowercase n, it'll list out all of the nodes rather than just the parent of the focus node. Now, I'm not really sure why it does that, but just keep in mind that you do have to use the dash lowercase n. Typically, I'll include that anyway because some other ones also behave a little weirdly when you don't include that. So just include the dash lowercase n and it will behave properly. So one thing you might notice is the name of this node. So I didn't really talk about node naming before because I didn't really think it was that important but it is kind of important when you are working with the query syntax. So you have to know the way that the tree, I guess, functions at a basic level. So in BSPWM, all of the nodes are stored in a tree and all of the window nodes are leaves of the tree. So to achieve this actually has to create branch nodes that are made the parent of the window nodes. So you'll know that it's a branch node because of the way that it's named. Now, from what I've seen, all of the branch nodes start with 00A and then all of the window nodes I believe are starting from zero, zero, and then one. So as you make more and more of them, obviously the ID is gonna keep going up and up. 
I presume that if you have too many branches, it will eventually go up to 00B, but I haven't seen that happen yet. So typically this is how you'll see it. So it'll be 0X00A for branch node and then something else for the window nodes. Now I'm not gonna go any deeper into how the tree functions in this video. I did think it was important to mention just so you understand how these nodes are basically structured. So I guess we should probably try out some of the other types of queries. So if we go capital D this time, so this will be a desktop query. So let's say we wanna get the ID of the focus desktop. So that is the ID for that. So that also seems to be named like a branch node. So I, I'm guessing the desktops are also treated like branches in the tree. So that actually makes it even more complicated. So you have your branch nodes for each of your window nodes. Then above that, you have your branch nodes that are all your desktops. Then I'm going to assume that above that, you have your monitor uh, branch. And then you will have the root somewhere at the top. So I'll dive more into the tree at some point. I didn't actually realize that those were treated as branch nodes as well. But yeah, that's just something else to keep in mind. Now, if you don't want the ID, but instead you want the name, you can actually get that as well. So if you go dash dash name, this can only be used with monitor and with desktop queries. So you can't use it to get the names of the different windows you have. But if we do dash dash name here, uh, dash dash names, sorry, that'll get you the name of the desktop. So in this case, the focus desktop is desktop one. If I go over to desktop two and I run the same thing, now it'll print out the name being two. Typically, you don't need to use this option, but there might be times when you actually do need to work with the names instead of the actual IDs. So like I was saying before, you can do the same thing with monitor. So if we go dash capital M, I think monitor has a focus option. I haven't actually tried that. Yes, it does. So the name of my focus monitor is EDP1. So that is the internal connector on a laptop. If you have never worked with laptop connections before. Earlier in the video, I said you might have some weird behavior that doesn't really make sense if you don't realize it's a tree. So one of those places where you might get weird behavior is with the uh, biggest node option from node. So if we go back up to that, so up to the next one. So one of the node selectors that you might know about is this one right here. So biggest and smallest, they'll both behave in the same weird way. Now what this will do is it'll actually select the biggest window or the smallest window in the tree, not within the focus desktop. So even if you do it with selecting only on the current desktop, it's not actually gonna work properly. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's just make this one smaller. So this node becomes the biggest node and let's put one over here. So the biggest node in the tree is currently going to be this one right here. Now, if we try to basically select on that, if we go dash capital N dash N, we want the biggest node and we want the uh, desktop that is uh, the focus desktop. So what's happened here? What's happened here is that BSPC query didn't actually fail, but when it sort of fails, what it will try to do to recover instead is just list out everything. Now, you can't actually select the biggest node like this. To select the biggest node, what you would have to do is select all the nodes on the currently focused desktop. So if we did something a bit more like this, uh, we just do focused, we get rid of this part, and we just do a node query on focused. So that'll list out all of the nodes on the focus desktop. And now what you would have to do here is basically loop through all of those nodes and check all of those sizes individually. Obviously skipping the branch nodes because the branch nodes are gonna have some different sizes that don't really make sense. So that's how you would go about finding the biggest node on the current desktop. So I'm not sure the reason why it fails in this way, but the reason why biggest doesn't work like this is because biggest tries to find the biggest node in the entire tree. Even when you're trying to work with the query syntax, it doesn't actually work like this. So even if we change that from being focused to desktop one, what it's gonna do is the exact same thing. So as we can see, it just lists out all of the nodes on the current desktop. Interestingly though, if you set it to the desktop that actually does have the biggest node, it does work correctly. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, if you do wanna just select the biggest node normally, if you just drop this desktop part, that will actually work. It's not like it doesn't work within the query syntax. It just doesn't work if you try to force it onto a different desktop that the biggest node isn't actually on. Now, I presume that this behavior may also occur with some of the other commands. I haven't run into any, but one thing to keep in mind is that if you are getting some weird behavior like this, make sure you test out your query. So the way that I'll typically test them out is I'll make a desktop of basically just fake windows. 
And typically I'll just use terminal just because that's a really easy one for me to open up. And let's say I wanted to do something like swap a node with the biggest node. What I'll typically do is test this by just trying to kill a node. So I will get the ID. Like let's say we do what we were doing before. So what we do is go bspc query dash n. Then we go dash n or dash lowercase n biggest and then select the biggest node on the focus desktop. So as we can see, that will list out all of the IDs. So if I was to then pipe this into a command to kill the windows, what will happen is that all of these windows will be killed. And obviously that's not the behavior we want. So doing it like that is a really visual way to actually see if your queries are breaking. There are other ways to test them, but I find that killing the windows is generally the most visual way to see that your command's actually failing. I could go all day talking about all of the individual selectors you can use and all of the different behavior you can cause with this, but I don't really think that that serves much of a purpose. So I've done individual videos on working with BSPC node, desktop, and monitor. So if you wanna have a more in-depth look at how all of those individually work, feel free to check those out. But once you understand how all those individual selectors work, they work exactly the same way within queries. So once you understand that, working with query is absolutely easy. So one thing I probably should show you is this tree option here, just because I haven't shown that one yet. So BSPC query dash T, and then we can go dash N, and let's say we just want to select, I don't know, the focus node. If I spell focused correctly, that will just print all of its information out in JSON. So I would recommend parsing this with something like, I don't know, JQ, FX, something like that. And it'll even list out things like the our class name, the instance name, the width of the border, its current state, its size, all of this stuff about it. So if you want all of the information about this window, this is one way you can go about doing it. There are other ways you can do it, but if you want to do it all within BSPWM, this is how I would recommend going about doing it. I reckon that's pretty much everything I want to talk about in this video. So if you like this video, then remember to smash that like button and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, then remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm now aiming for 10,000 subs and any help be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in. So go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. Down below, I've got all of my social links. I've also got my support links and also my alternate video platform. So that'll be my BitTube and my library. So feel free to check those out if you want to see my videos on a platform that isn't YouTube. So as I was saying earlier, I can definitely talk way more about query, but I don't really think there's much of a purpose to do that. I might do a separate video where I do some more, I guess, complex examples, but this should be a pretty good rundown of how query works. Now, I am going to be talking about the tree in a separate video. I also want to talk about how the path selector works because I finally bothered to work out how that actually works. And also, I want to do one on... I've got a list here. Give me one sec. I probably should have just brought this up earlier. Uh, let's see. What is the other one that I wanted to do the video on? Uh, it's right here. Oh, also on tree operations. So how things like circulate and equalize actually affect the tree and how you can actually use them to create some really cool behavior within BSPWM. So that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. Oh, lastly, also receptacles. I'm going to have a look at how those actually work. I haven't just yet, but I've heard that they're actually pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to talk about today. And I'm out.